Hello, once again, it's me, the Web Man. <laughs> How you guys doing today? Hope you're having the most awesome, excellent, excellent, excellent day of today <laughs> or this week or whatever. At least it's not Monday, right? Got that going for you. Anyways, I am back with another drink review. This time, it is the Monster Energy Ultra Black. Again, not a sponsor. Be cool if they were, but they're not. Uh, not yet. Maybe they'll they'll come to their senses. Anyways, we've got a lovely can. And I like the, the way they do the cans because all the pinstriping and stuff. This is not, not actual pinstriping where somebody took the time. Somebody drew up a design and then they had it like imprinted on the can. But it makes me think of like old rat rods and choppers and, you know, and the murder black. That's what we call it out here. Murder black, flat black, with the classic red and white pinstriping. Some of those guys, I don't know if you ever watched any of those shows or even YouTube channels or anything where people are throwing down paint, throwing down them stripes. Those guys are, they got skills. They got like steady hands. They probably don't drink a whole lot of these because give them the shakes and then their lines would be like all over the place. And instead of being like a nice... Pinstriping like this look more like a spirograph. Remember those things with the little gears? You put the pin. <laughs> Everything you made always looked the same. It's just a different size of gear. But it's like swirl. And then you put your pin in a different one. You have different colors. So you have all these different swirls and stuff. It's like, okay. Anyways, this is the Ultra Black. Again, I'm kind of fearful of this one. I'm thinking this is going to be tasting like black licorice, another thing I don't like, or the pitch black that Mountain Dew put out that tasted like bad Diamond Tap. Not even bad grape soda, but bad, straight-up janky Diamond Tap. Generic Diamond Tap that had gone bad, been sitting out so long that the cap was all crusty and had like little, when you go into open it, it had little flakes that ever happened to you? Maybe that was just me as a kid, self-medicating. I don't, I don't know, you know. As an orphan, I had to take care of myself. So anyways, Eagle Claw. Ah! Again, this is zero calorie. Again, not going to smell it. Pinch moves. Now I sound like I'm smuggling a helium or something. At first, it's kind of off-putting. Then the more you taste it, it's... can't really put my finger on what it is. It's like some type of a berry. I can taste berry in there, but I'm not sure what kind of berry. So let's see what they say. Now you see why I have the glasses on all the time. Okay. Oh, cherry. Okay. Yeah, I'm tasting the cherry. Mixing with the monster, it's kind of hard to distinguish. Um, I guess Lake Michigan has a thing, the cherry capital of the world in Traverse City, Michigan. Right around the 4th of July, but you can get them, so blah, blah, blah. Yep, no sugar, zero calories. So it's like Monster and like cherry juice. It's... It's kind of different. It's not like a black cherry. It's kind of more tart. So it's it's good. So I will go ahead and put that down there for later. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Have a great day. Don't forget, drawing is coming up on Friday the 11th, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Get your name in the drawing. So far, I think we are up to 12 names. So if you're one of the 12, your odds of winning are extremely good. If your name's not in there, 
your chances are zero. You're not going to win. So put your name in the drawing. And good luck to you guys. So with all that said, I will see you later. Bye-bye.